we really do have the power to reprogram our biologies. Quasi here. And in this video, we're going to be continuing from the last video where we talk about discipline. Now, as I've discussed, discipline is much more powerful than motivation. And discipline is something that you set every single day that you're gonna do, and you stick to it no matter what. I'm gonna be talking about discipline because willpower is not sustainable. And if you've been living life right now relying on willpower, then bravo to you because that's the most difficult way to go about it. And willpower is just something that needs to be replenished every single day, something that needs to be work worked on. And discipline is really just more powerful and it makes you a habit monster. So as I've discussed from the last video, discipline is something that's gonna make you an autopilot in achieving your goals and getting through things that you need to do, getting things done. And this is, these kind of videos are gonna be different from the kind of videos that I usually do where I talk about the law of attraction because these are more focused on techniques to get you more productive and really tap into that inner intention, your personal intent in creating your life. So these are more principles oriented to that. And I believe this is, much, this is also as equally important as learning the principles, but principles are the fundamentals. And in order to build on principles, learn the techniques. So here are some techniques that I'm gonna give you to really build up your discipline to be sharp as a sword. Basically, human beings are part biology, part mental, part spirit. So there's a the physical, the mental, and the spiritual. And in this model, which was taken from the hermetic teachings of ancient times. We are gonna talk about how you can mold your physical model in order to achieve the goals that your spirit wants to achieve. Because as I've said, the spirit is not replenishable. It doesn't de deplete. It just stays where it is. So with that in mind, we really do have the power to reprogram our biologies. And if you want to reprogram your biology, a certain kind of respect needs to be taken towards your existing biology. So let's think about this. If you want to form a new habit, there are basically three steps that need to be maintained. And we're gonna use habit as synonymous as discipline. So the way to form new habits that benefit you are threefold. The first step, there's a trigger. The second step, you take an action, and the third step is you reward yourself. Now typically, people are using this every single day, and if you think you can't reprogram yourself, then you're lying to yourself, because if you just know this, you'll be able to reprogram the way you do everything and just achieve anything you want in your life through the very act of taking action. What this is is basically trigger, action, reward. You're doing this every single day without even knowing it. Most people, what they do is, their trigger is to wake up, their action is to go to work, and the reward is to come home and watch TV. Once you do this, this becomes a habit. So people are subconsciously doing this with every single thing in their lives. You wake up, go to work, reward yourself with some TV. If you want to build any habit or any sort of discipline into your life, then this is the perfect way to do it and the most powerful way to do it. So, let me share with you what my trigger, action, and reward are. Personally, if you're an entrepreneur, or you're trying to start a new habit, or you're just, you just wanna make a change in your life and you want to implement a good habit in your life, you use this three-step method. First, my trigger is to wake up, and as soon as I wake up, I execute on my daily action plan that I plan out before I start the day. So, execute daily action plan is my action, and the reward that I give to myself as a result of that is I do whatever I want. I eat dessert at night, but not during the day. So at lunchtime, I won't eat dessert. I'm a big dessert guy, and I love to reward myself with dessert by the end of the day. Or I'll just go out and have ice cream, or just have fun. Whatever I want to do, I do at the end of the day. So that's basically my three-step process of getting yourself into the habits that you want to create. And once you reward yourself, your brain starts to think, well, this is good. This is giving me a dopamine spike. And once you get a dopamine spike, your brain wants to do more of that activity. So now I'm training myself to take action more and more and more as I keep doing this. So it's important that you do this. If you like playing Xbox, then reward yourself with playing Xbox. If you like watching TV, do that then. Whatever habit you want to implement, just write down the action you want to do 
and you want yourself to be able to complete, execute on it and then reward yourself accordingly. Don't be uh, skittish on your reward. Just reward yourself accordingly. So anyway, hope this video helped and thanks for watching. I'm growing a massive Facebook group where we'll be sharing all of this kind of stuff and techniques too to help you maximize your potential and also law of attraction practices that have helped us all progress. So if you're interested, click on the link below to join and I hope I see you there. And also I'm so excited to announce that I'll be launching the second round of the Reality Mastery program where we strategically take you from the person you are right now to the person that you wish to become. Because what I've found is that once you focus on becoming and changing yourself from an identity level, that's really tackling it from the foundation. Once you become the person that you wish to become, then you can really attract the reality that you want to attract. So becoming is the most powerful frame of mind to come from. So in Reality Mastery Program, we've worked with clients to help them in a six week program become the person and make the shift into the person they wish to become and subsequently attract the realities that they want to attract. So I'll be holding consults all week and then we close down the enrollment at the 11th of March. In this free consult, we'll be discussing how I can help you and if this program is really a right fit for you. So if you're interested, click on the link below to schedule your free consult with me. And this consult is roughly about an hour long where we discuss if you're a right fit for the program and how we can help you in your current situation. So thanks for watching. Click on the link to join. Till next time.